Now the question came up is, uh, one question is, what about uh, groups and chaperones? You know, that's a big thing when it comes to Christian dating. They say you should always have a chaperone. I mean, whether you call it a chaperone or whether you call it groups, it's, you know, it's just basically, you know, hanging out with the, pers the prospective, you know, person uh, with other people, right? Or should you do that alone? Well, my opinion there is, you know, I, I think it is good to uh, spend some time alone. Uh, generally, probably in the earlier part, because you, there are some things that you might want to talk about that you don't necessarily want everyone there talking about. And, you know, that's why I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing to start off dating alone, because generally at the beginning, there's less of a temptation, right? Because you don't know each other so well. Most people are not going to jump into the sack the first night if they have some respect for themselves. Um, you know, so, you know, I think that those first couple of dates, if you do them the right way, there won't be that temptation and you can talk about, you know, what most people would call the DNMs, right? The deep and meaningfuls. So I think like, you know, once you have a couple of those DNMs and you have the deep and meaningfuls and you talk about a lot of things I'm going to talk about later on, is um, then probably once you get to know each other and you're sort of thinking, yes, we will, we, we, we do, does, this does work out, we're going to get married, it's probably best from then on to stick with groups, right? So that you're not tempted to do things that you shouldn't. Um, even to the... You know, I would recommend that even if you're going somewhere with a group to go separately. You know, go with your friends rather than go together. Because there's always that time where you drive, you know, you're driving home together late at night, and it's dark, it's, it's not safe, all right, in terms of purity. So, err on the side of caution. You know, I don't think it's necessarily wrong to have some alone dates to talk about the things that are important. But I think if you're, especially if you're engaged or, you know, you know that you're going to get married, then I think it's a good idea to spend most of your time together in groups. So uh, the other thing as well is you might want to, you know, let your parents know where you are, you know, stay accountable. So keep parents informed about where you are and what you're doing because if other people know what you're doing, you're less likely to do things that you shouldn't be doing, you know, what time you're going to get home. So there's some accountability there.